this is Heidi with Kiddos Corral, and it is Wednesday, and I wanted to check in with you guys, and um, I know last time I went to the grocery store, you guys enjoyed the fact that I showed you my meal plan and my grocery list and all that kind of thing before I headed out to the store. Well, I got to tell you guys, I know that I'm switching this again, but my husband and I had a really long talk about some things and about money being spent on groceries, and I'm going back to basics again with planning out an entire month of meals. And I know you don't want to sit here and hear me read all of these off, and yes, I used a piece of cardboard to write on because this lady got up this morning was making her bed and accidentally tipped over a humongous glass of ice water which went all over her sugar paper planner which dried in the sun and it's perfectly fine but the notebooks that i used to make my um meal plan out got soaked and so those had to be thrown away and uh, by the way I had this done last night but it soaked it to the point that the ink actually ran and I couldn't read any of it so I had to redo it today and it took me almost two hours so yes welcome to the life of a stay-at-home mom <laughs> okay so um, we have the 4th of July coming up and um, I do have to add a couple things to my list for that because we are going to be making some homemade ice cream somebody gave us a humongous box of peaches and yesterday my poor husband and I was in the kitchen and we peeled and chopped peaches and we froze bags of peaches I've got a thing of peaches in my um, refrigerator that I think I'm going to make a peach cobbler with um, probably this evening and I'm also thinking about shooting that video for Sunday Simple Supper because I think it is is so easy and so delicious that it's kind of crazy not for me for me not to share with you guys because it is such a wonderful recipe and um, of course you know I have to look up my ice cream recipe um, we froze peaches for that um, and so I have to look up my ice cream recipe because I can't remember if it's half and half or whole milk. I can't remember exactly what goes into it because I bought specialty box like mixes this time that somebody suggested because last time I made ice cream, it cost us a fortune. You remember when homemade was cheaper? Sometimes it's not anymore. And I think it's really sad that we've come to that. Like even making crafts or knitting or crocheting, they have made hobbies or like things that were ways to cut the budget. They have made it so expensive. Like buying fabric, for instance, for sewing, it's outrageously priced. I just can't get over it. it you know what? I just can't. I'm living in the wrong time, guys. I really am. Okay, so... After um, 4th of July, I had to think about what the holiday was, the 5th through the 9th, see right here, I know you probably can't make it out, but I have some smaller meals here for my kids um, that are super, super simple because they can eat anything because they're not fat like my husband and I, but we are actually going on a juice cleanse. And I know that a lot of people um, might feel like that's not really a good thing to do. My husband and I have done it before. We are not going without eating. It's a juice cleanse where every, I think it's every three hours you drink a juice. Um, and so I think it's nine o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock, three o'clock and six o'clock. You drink a juice. And then at night you can have green tea um, and my husband and I have actually done this before and we felt better for it and we have decided to do it and I made out yesterday because not only did somebody give us a big huge box of peaches but they gave us the mother load of kale and uh, spinach and that'll be in another video I show you guys where I made up over 25 freezer bags uh, for our green smoothies um, if you guys are not familiar with how I do that and how I prepare so that we can have our green smoothies, um, 
you know, I that video will be out. I have a couple already posted, so um, if you're interested, I will probably just... If I forget to do it and you want to see it, I will link it down below. Um, hopefully, I won't forget to link it for you guys to see it. So, anyways, I have all of this down. Now, you know, there are a few meals that we eat all the time. Like, for instance, um, rotini noodles and, pa and pasta sauce. So, I just go ahead and I write that down for a couple days. And then, uh, meatloaf is down for one day. Stuffed peppers are something that we eat. I put that down for three days because I can actually, when I prepare the first bunch of green peppers, I'm just going to um, prepare enough that I freeze three pans. And then we have three pans in the freezer. And then, um, those are easy meals for me. All I got to do is pull it out of the refrigerator and pop it in. Um, I've got shepherd uh, pie one night. Um, and then the stir fry. Um, well, it's not stir fry, but um, my chicken tacos. You can actually put all of that together in a Ziploc bag and freeze it. And so I'll be doing that. So as you can see, I kind of think, what do we like to eat? And then I might write it down two or three times for the month, but we're not going to have it two or three times in a week. That would be crazy. And I just want to make sure that I have all my bases covered. Um, then what I do is I think to myself, um, do I have any videos for Sunday Simple Supper? Um, do I need to upload any more? If I do, what do I want to shoot? What I, you know, I need to buy the um, stuff for that. Um, somebody asked me the other day, and I do want to briefly answer this question. Somebody asked me um, how many, you know, when I would come out with, you know, how often was I going to do the love it or leave it uh, videos. I'm just going to tell you that when I come across a recipe or something that I want to try and um, bring it to you all's attention and give you our opinion on it, if we love it or leave it, um, then I will do a video. I'm not going to promise to do those videos like every single week. I would love to, but because I do the Sunday Simple Supper already, um, it's a lot of recipe time, but that's, it's, it doesn't bother me. I have the time to do it. I have one, uh, recipe right now that I am working on, um, not working on, but am planning to try to work on getting it in here, um, so that I can, um, you know, share it with you and what, and give you my thoughts on what I think about it. In fact, I might try to shoot that before the end of the week. I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, after I make my meal plan, I bought this the other day at the Dollar Tree. Can you see how pretty that is? I was so thrilled to find these. Um, they don't carry a lot of notebooks at our um, Dollar Tree. And this one here I like because it's very slim and it's long and it'll fit perfectly in my purse for the store. So what I did was I just started making a list, as you can see here. And I kind of walk my way through the store in my mind so that the sections are kind of grouped together so I don't have to go backtracking in the grocery store. But then I also, too, because I use ground turkey a lot in a lot of in a lot of my recipes. I count how many uh, pounds of ground turkey I'm going to need um, for the month and then I just write it and then that's how much I pick up. Whole chicken, chicken breast, you know, um, sausage, bacon, tortillas I pick up um, at Piggly Wiggly and the reason why it's kind of separate from everything is because I get my tortillas special from Piggly Wiggly and they don't always have them and so <laughs> I know this probably sounds crazy but I have my kids look for those when they run into the store because they work there so um, I'm like hey keep your eye out for those tortillas and grab those for me because they really uh, run out of those particular tortillas like very very quickly and those are my favorite ones and they're the least expensive so that is a win-win and as you can see i have sss up here and that is a recipe that i want to shoot for sunday simple supper as well so i'm excited to, i'm just excited about doing videos guys um but anyways um i'm headed out the store today um i am 
going through the refrigerator. I'm getting out any leftovers, which um, there was one little small container um, that was in there that I needed to discard. And that was it because I scrubbed my refrigerator out last week. Um, and then I'm just going to make sure my dishwasher's loaded, everything's wiped down, my kitchen counter, my kitchen table is wiped down and cleaned off. Because when I come home, I like to be able to lay everything out very quickly to shoot my hauls and also to, to um, you know, easily put everything up. And tonight when I get home, um, like, you know, I have on here stuffed peppers, I'm going to go ahead and make those and get those in the freezer. I'm not going to sit on it. I'm just going to, um, you know, do what I need to do and get it over with so that I don't have to spend hours in the kitchen this month. That is one thing about prepping that I like. And that brings me to one more question and then I'm going to shut up. Somebody asked me, um, where are my videos for prepping for the week and that kind of thing. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think I'm not going to put out a boar snore video for you guys to watch showing you guys me rinsing my grapes and, um, you know, rinsing off my produce and putting it up in the refrigerator, um, and making iced tea because that is pretty much the equivalent of my prep. When I do a month's worth of groceries, I have a big prep, usually. So if I can remember to maybe uh, shoot my prep, you know, video it, I will issue a prep for this week, for this month. Um, I'm hoping just to keep this system going, just by go shopping bi-monthly um i tried doing weekly it just didn't work out because of time and um you know basically since my son has had cancer my husband's work has been extremely shifty and um we have you know we have money for food and everything but because I'm visually impaired and I don't drive and then I have two boys that have driver's licenses but they work two jobs um, a piece um, getting to from point A to point B has been problematic for me because I like my husband to go to the grocery store with me and when you shop for a month this is a lot of stuff to do by yourself and to remember and to scratch off and to get and when I go to the grocery store I run into people and I think later man they must have thought I was really rude to them because when I go to the store I'm like a zombie I'm into my coupons I'm into what is the cheapest thing on the shelf and my list because honestly I don't want to go back to the store but because of situations with just trying to start our family is basically starting all over again after all that we've been through and um, we're doing fine everybody's fine it's just that buying monthly right now is what I need to do is key right now I mean if I need to buy bread um, like hamburger buns or hot dog buns or anything like that um, through the month that's not a problem <coughs> excuse me I'm sneezing <coughs> excuse me again so I am going to let you guys go and I'm gonna go ahead and get my rest of my kitchen cleaned up and get myself dressed because I am going to be leaving um, shortly and I always want to make sure that I wear comfortable shoes because I'm going to be in the store for a while and also too that I eat before I go so that I don't buy more than what is on my list because that can be a problem it really can so I'll be checking back in a little bit and sharing with you what I purchased from Audi's for the month going to do one ginormous haul for you guys um, this is all the shopping that I did for one month um, I've got all the stuff from Kroger first which is piled up here in the bags <laughs> um, I didn't buy a ginormous amount but um, from Kroger so I thought I'm going to show it first and put it away and then I can get to the Audi stuff that's below so the first thing that I bought was um, eggs and this is what my son picked out we got two dozen eggs there and let's see what's in here 
the Audi um, strawberries look terrible so I got two pints of strawberries from Kroger because theirs looked really really good the other ones not so much all right I'm gonna trying to grab these but I don't think I'm doing a very good job here I got four things of these chicken breast and I'm just gonna throw those in the freezer and I got two whole chickens that I buy you know pretty much every month they're right there I just don't want to take them out of the bags because they leak and I like to um, put them in Ziploc bags before I slip them into my freezer because they're just so nasty I got two things of the rotini noodles and I got these for some cupcakes I had a big issue trying to find something that looked 4th of July like and this was the only thing that I could find and I got some sugar which is right there I'm trying to do all this and I have all of this everywhere here we go there's the sugar that I bought Need to get put up Um, let's see what we have in here. I have two things of uh, sausage that I bought. And I have two things of this all-natural bacon that we purchased. And let me see. Oh, I got one more thing left. Oh, yeah. I've got these. I got two things of the spaghetti pasta. So I'm going to go ahead and put this up because it needs to be put in the refrigerator because it's really hot today. And then I'll show you guys what I purchased at, how much this costs, and then I'll show you um, my Audi haul. Okay, this is my Audi stuff, and at the end of the video, I'll show you guys both totals. I got some squash, and I've got four things of green pepper, and I got some zucchini. And I think I got another thing of squash, which is probably in the bottom there, but go ahead and take that one, Lucas. And put that in the bottom drawer of the fridge you know take it out okay now I got two things of blueberries they had an excellent deal on blueberries at Audi's they were 99 cents I got some heavy whipping cream because I'm making homemade ice cream for 4th of July I got some whip topping because I'm gonna make some homemade banana pudding I got sour cream and another thing is sour cream. I'm going to be using a lot of it for my big hash brown casserole. Um, I'm going to bake a squash tonight. And I'm going to use this Parmesan cheese. And then I have three things of cheddar cheese right here. So I'll let Lucas go ahead and take that. And throw my box. Okay. I got two things of the tomato sauce. That's one. That's two. I got um, a thing of German style sauerkraut because I bought the brats from Costco, which you guys will see that haul. And then I got the fit and active strawberry preserves. I got some baked beans because I'm going to make my famous baked beans for um, 4th of July. I got some two cans of pink salmon. You guys know that I make um, salmon patties I got pork and beans that goes in my baked beans as well this is another one you'll go ahead and take this canned stuff and put it up on the shelf I got three things of tuna and water and I know I got several of those so I'll show it to you all together I got a mushroom sauce for spaghetti and here's another one right here I'm trying to make sure that I show you everything. Some stuff is over here. Okay. I got a um, thing of medium salsa. I got a thing of Italian seasoning. I was completely out of that. I got some steak sauce. My husband got that. I'm not sure what his intentions are with it. Um, I got some more pink salmon. I got some honey. I got the little honey bear. 
another thing of mushroom style spaghetti sauce all of this has been shown okay. from here down and I got um, olive oil they have a really good deal on olive oil if you use a lot of it it's definitely worth it um, I got the minced garlic I got me some chewing gum because I was stealing some from Lucas today <laughs> I got three boxes I'm cheating on my pasta salad I really do like the classic one I have not bought this in like forever 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 but I'm just gonna make this as an easy side for the 4th of July because all of us really like pasta salad so that's what I'm, what I'm gonna do all of this is done alright you're hearing Lucas kicking the boxes around I got a taco seasoning I got two bags of hash browns because I'm making my hash brown casserole, as I said. I got two bags of the frozen tilapia, and I got 11 pounds of ground turkey. So that is all the meat. I got three bottles of my Sweet Baby Ray's uh, barbecue sauce. If you notice the trend here, you gotta love my Baby Ray's. I got several sides um, just so that I made sure that I had enough to go with certain things like salmon patties and fish and etc. So I got these chicken flavored um, noodles. I just got some easy sides to fix this month. Um, I got a can of Pam spray. I got two things of vanilla pudding. It's upside down. I'm throwing it. Okay. Vanilla pudding. This pudding is for um, the uh, banana pudding that I'm making. I got three more things of the taco seasoning. I got three of these chicken rice. I really do like these as a side and the kids really like them. So I just bought some little bit easier items to make um, this month. I got a chocolate cake mix because I'm going to make some uh, cupcakes, I think. I got some Jesus. onion powder because I was all out. I got some minced onion right here. I got my dog's usual dog biscuits that I always get them from Audi's because they love them. And I actually broke down and bought fake mashed potatoes. I call these fake mashed potatoes, but they're instant for a couple shepherd pies I'm actually going to make so that I can use the other potatoes for something else. I got some shells and cheese. Um, and then I got potatoes there. And there's my dog laying right next to <laughs> my potatoes. <laughs> Um, I got some onions right there, and this is vegetable oil, two things of bananas, one thing of celery, one two percent milk, and one whole milk. And that is all I purchased from Audi's, and I will get my receipts out and come back and show you the totals. Okay guys, I want to show you guys the uh, total. There it is. It was 139.08. That was my total at Audi's. And now I'm going to show you my total for Kroger. If I can. <laughs> um, I know it was 91 something. Let me find the total. I think I'm upside. No, I'm not upside down. Um, hmm. Right here. Let's see. You guys can see it. There we go. Um, let me see if I can find the total. It's right there. Ninety-one ninety-one, and I paid with a hundred-dollar bill. You guys see that? Okay, that was Kroger. Wherever the Kroger sign is, there it is. Kroger. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, haul video for the month of July and I will try to get this out to you as soon as possible and I hope you have a wonderful day if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and I'll be talking to you again soon bye bye